YouTube? No, that's stupid. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Clinch River Homestead. I'm John. I'm Nicole. Today we've got a pretty exciting video. We're going to unveil the aftermath of the house being brought onto the property, and we've also got to do some work up there. So, got to get the tractor going, got to hook up the grapple, and we're going to start some big old bonfires today. Before we go up, we got to load up the UTV because we're going to start a fire. So we got all this firewood over here that we need to burn. So we're going to grab some of that. We got some paper products. You need your tools. Yeah. And I got to get some tools. All right. We got everything loaded up over here. All right. So now we're going to head down to where the tractor is. I'm going to hop in the tractor and get the grapple hooked up. And uh, Nicole's going to follow me in the ute. We want to see some comments below if you want to see me drive the tractor. Yeah. Hey, while I'm putting some fuel in the tractor, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button and tick that little bell. You don't want to miss any future content. Smash on that thumbs up button too. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. The quick things at the front. So I thought since we're over here, I'll show you our fruit orchard. Well, everything's dormant, so you gotta use your imagination. Out. There's water in there too. Um, I gotta get that out of there. We're going on pause. Yeah, so if you get water inside your hydraulic fittings here, make sure that uh, you get a paper towel and soak it up. Even though we had these in it, for some reason we still got water inside, so it might just be condensation too, but. Always want to make sure you grease all your fittings. We just did them all the last time we used it and we didn't use it for that long. So make sure you do that. If you hear squeaking, just stop and grease them up. It's messy, but worth it. All right, let's go. Ready? All right, we're giving you the bird's eye view today. had to use the grapple that much. We've actually been getting away with using the uh, forks. So uh, we have pallet forks and we've been using pallet forks for pretty much everything. But since we have these trees cut up, they're cut up into kind of smaller pieces. So the forks I don't think are really going to work too well for us. So I figured we hook up the grapple and this way it'll make it easier for us to place things too. So we'll see how it's going to go. Yeah, you can see over here on the right, our house is coming up. And we've sure done a lot of work in here. A lot of work. And the last time everybody saw it, it was pretty uh, overgrown in here, that's for sure. So we're still waiting on some people to come and do some siding over here on the house. This one I was working on yesterday. And as you notice, I've also taken down the fence. All of that was on the fence line here is gone. There's only a couple poles left. And uh, thank God for the backhoe, because it made a light work of it. Now that we're up here, I thought we would uh, explain what's going on, because it's a little sensory overload, because you haven't really seen anything. <laughs> Here's our driveway that comes in, and like I told you in the previous video, it horseshoes all the way around now to the other side. Over here is where the garage is going. You can see the pad's already done for that. This is the tree we just had cut down yesterday. So we've got to get this worked up into a pile today. All right, let's walk around to the back side of the house here. Now that we're out back of the house, let me show you where that tree was. 
All right, so right here is the stump for that tree, and you can see they've cut it down. Now we've got to get this moved. Out back here is the septic system. So there was a barn here originally, and this was a retaining wall for that barn. We're gonna dig this whole area out and pull up a bunch of stone, and there's like a ton of trash that's in the ground that we've gotta get up glass and all kinds of stuff. So you're gonna see that probably in the video. But anyway, as you can see behind me, all of this is gonna get burned over here. Not today. This whole area is all open now. Before in the video, I don't think you could even see the road from here. So much stuff here. And I don't know if you can tell, but the soil here is really dark. So that's because they had cattle on this land before and it really, really helped the soil here. So if you look over here, you can see the soil that they brought in for fill is pretty red. And then over here is pretty black. Hey, hi, honey. Hey. <laughs> so the object is I got this pile here. I'm gonna pick up with the uh, grapple, dump on here. No, don't roll. All right. Nah. So now that we got all this pile gone and put over here, uh, I just have to go through all of this so I can ride through it with the tractor because all them poles had barbed wire and staples and things like that. So I'm just gonna run through a magnet. Let's get that done and then we'll pick up some more stumps over here with the tractor and then I got one out in the street to get. Cole's finishing up here getting the rest of the uh, metal out and um, neighbors riding by <laughs> so while she's getting the rest of the metal out of this pile I'm gonna head out on the road and grab the uh, stump that's on the hillside here The siding guys here now to do the siding on the house so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold off on that pile over there to burn and we're gonna work on the pile out front here so I'm gonna turn you around and uh, show you what we're working on now so now the goal is we're just gonna cut all this up into a nice pile like we did out front and get ready for the next burn If you're enjoying the content today, make sure to go down below and smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss any other videos, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Alright, so we're just about wrapping everything up over at the uh, house here. We got that one big pile behind me done. Uh, we've got that one out front of the house that's behind me somewhere over here. We got that one done. Nicole's cleaning up some of the leaves right now. And if you can see behind me here, siding's going up on the house. So that's pretty good. The next step that they're going to do is uh, they got to spot the meter or they already spotted it so they're going to bring the meter and they got to hang that and then uh, they're actually going to be coming off of a pole right on the side here to the house so it'll be pretty cool well 
That was a long day. I'm tired. Yep. I think we're done for the day. Yeah, we got a lot done. We're going to let the guys stay here and finish up with the siding. Thanks, everybody, for coming along on the journey today. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And now you got to see uh, some of the progress that we're making up here. Yeah, don't forget to like it. Make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell. And uh, we'll see everybody on the next one. Thanks for joining us. Bye.